So it's day two in a lot of that, and I just finished up my last meeting and I'm free until the evening of the 10th, where my train is. So I'm just cruising around the city, scored a, a really nice duffel bag for all the, the souvenirs that they've been giving us. And I'm just walking around the, the town. Well, a city, really. It's a fairly decently sized city. This place is a bustling because the Victory Day is tomorrow, and so there's rehearsals in various parks for the bands that will be playing the parades that they're going to be having, so I'll show you some footage of that. And this is just what the walk looks like. right now and this is a little weird. Uh, it's a it's called Moga Mama and it sells child's clothing and women's clothing but it also sells extremely delicate. How awesome is that? Bounds for days people. So this is roughly translated to Soviet Square, and off there in the distance, that glorious masterpiece is Lenin's head. If I remember my history right, there's a second matching one elsewhere on the west. Funny little aside, we were passing by this yesterday, and Allison asks, how can they dribble? <laughs> Now behind me in the uh, Soviet square is where everyone's gathering to celebrate the Day of Victory. And one of the, the customs that they have to do it is doing push-ups. So they're trying to set a record into I think 20 something thousand collectively. And that's the, the footage that you saw earlier. What are you doing here, Irish pub? <laughs> Justin Lewis, you wanted your crazy Russian vehicles. Here they are for the public to behold. So that is a governmental building off in the back that's painted, colored up like the Russian flag and next to it with the blue, white, yellow is the Buryatia flag. If you're asking yourself what the Buryatia flag is, that's a state in Russia because Russia has states, much like the United States, though considerably fewer of them. This is the equivalent of their 4th of July.